Uncensored Pillow Talk is, is sponsored by Bariani Olive Oil, a family owned and operated company. Visit BarianiOliveOil.com for products and more. <laughs> Hi there, my name is Paj Monroe and I'm your host for Uncensored Pillow Talk and I'm here with my co-host Kyle Andrew. I'm already hungover. Oh my god, right? Oh my god. I went <laughs> hungover, what is that? What is hungover, what is that? Hungover? Yes, I don't even know what that is. Because when you keep on drinking from day to day, you don't get to be hungover. You just like, I don't know, it's just one thing. Well, if you have an ID like you, I guess we all can't, we can't, we can't keep up. But um, today's show, it's extremely special to me because I looked up to this queen when I first met, met her here in San Francisco very, very many moons ago, but she still looked like she's 25. Oh. And I have here with me Katja Smirnovsky. Hello, people. How are you? Good to be here, Patra. I, I, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled when, to be here. When did you arrive from Russia? Well, well I mean, I, I came to the United States in 1906, a long, long time ago. <laughs> My late husband, the Count Nikolai Alexander Ivanovich Smirnovska, had passed away, leaving me nothing. That's my furs and jewels, a Picasso, two Chagalls, a Manetitian, some lovely Loekitos furniture, a Bentley, and my chateau on the Seine, I was in destitute. So I did what any destitute 21 year old countess does. I, I sold that chateau and I moved to New York City, the city where no one knows your name or gives a shit. I didn't show up here in San Francisco <laughs> yeah. until nine, uh, 2001, I think, is when I first... I, I, I spent a brief time in Seattle raising my daughter, Catherine. I have how, a daughter, Catherine. How was that Seattle? Uh, oh, it was an interesting time. I lived two houses down from Kurt Cobain. Interesting man. Very small. Surprising. I, I liked him a great deal. His wife, Courtney, she was... A mess, you know. I, I tried. I, I tried to teach the lady, you know, how, how to be a lady, a, a proper, you know, show up and you know, do things. But what, what is in, uh, in Russia we were saying? It says something like, "You can lead a donkey to a river, but you can't make it drink the water if it prefers heroin." <laughs> and on that note, talking about the <laughs> same. <laughs> Uh, Let's yeah, I would this. love a drink, a, a vodka soda if you've got it. That, Lovely. Uh, no May calories. I May I have a glass of champagne, please? Absolutely. Thank oh, you so much. Um, first of all, I absolutely adore you. Oh, thank you. I adore you too. Because you're just, not only you're a humble, you're nice, but you're also absolutely extremely talented. Oh, you're very kind. And uh, one of the very few top queens in San Francisco, they have a running show for 18 years. 14. 14 years at Martunis. I know, that's a long time. I think it might be the longest consistent running uh, drag show in San Francisco at the moment, which and, is insane to me. And it's you. It's a me. A piano. A piano. And a random ass person who I hope will sell <laughs> tickets. Yes. How don't right? we all? Makes the world go round. Um, you also went to school for singing. I did. If I drop the accent, I, I, <laughs> I, I studied music um, at the University of Oregon uh, when I'm not wearing a lady wig. <laughs> but to drop the illusion. Yeah, but just moment. not but any back. any kind of music. You are classically. I trained. am, and so with Katya, I I, I, I take classical. Well, I take pop songs, and I do them as a 60-something-year-old Russian opera singer would sing them, which is mildly retarded. I only use that word because it's the best word to describe what I was trying to say. I don't apply it to people. She used that line for years. I know. <laughs> Before it was politically sensitive. Thank you oh, very much. Shin, shin. Thank you, darling. Thank you. And talking I'm about... I'm so glad you're so dressed for the event. Right, cheers. Shin, shin. I, you know, it was... A, I, I remembered that your show was uh, something bed-like, so I wore my black tie pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> Which are like not any pajamas. They are... They're Gucci. Uh, which is a designer, the fabric is. <laughs> David made it, Glamour made them for me and about 14 is, years ago. Oh my god, David and his fashion, it is just out of this world. I only have 162. I know, we were talking about that the other day, I that know. you just ball gowns and everything. And I could go to a formal event every night for like three months and, and never repeat. repeat. Address. Uh, talk about your performances. You're a live singer. Yes. And uh, um, you have your 
cabaret Christmas show, which is already sold out. It is. So it's, it's all done. I, I, it was my 12th year of Katya Holiday Spectacular at Feinstein's, which is in the Hotel Nico, where I charge people an exorbitant amount of money to do the same show every year, and still they just keep coming. And people say, they say, Katya, why don't you write new music? Why don't you write a new show? And I say, well, you keep buying tickets. They keep sell, doing the same shit. Oh, they no, sell out again. in 48 hours, so we might as well just do it. Exactly. <laughs> That is true. Coming up this next month? Uh, yes, every third Sunday I'm at Martuni's, as I have been for the last 14 years, doing my Katya Presents, my little spectacular. So it's the third Sunday of every month. You can catch me at 7 o'clock for a whopping $13, unless I randomly change the price, which I'm apt to do on occasion for no <laughs> reason other than to see if anyone's paying attention. Um, you're also part of an amazing um, calendar this year. I Wait, am. What month are you? I'm January. You enter course, the of year. Of course, it's the first. Oh, I am. Right? It is. I'm stepping this out. This is of, your mom. I'm stepping out of the doors at the current theater, the very same doors that were used in the famous alley scene of All About Eve, you also where have, Betty Davis walked out. You also have had a, a really amazing photographer from San Francisco. I did. That did your shoot. The one, the one for Gareth Gooch. He, he took beautiful pictures in a whopping hour and three <laughs> outfits before they towed his car away. He didn't actually tow his car away because he ran, <laughs> ran out. Did that, that really current, happen? It, yeah, well, because, oh you know, in downtown, you can park till 4 o'clock. And then yes. they're like, no, no more parking for you. So he just, he, he shut up and it's gone. And How, I was like, all right. As an opera singer, you, yes. you have sang in, in numerous places. Yes. How was it for you to be on that stage where, oh, in drag? It's oh, a beautiful, the current is a beautiful, yeah. beautiful stage. Uh, in all honesty, I grew up here in San Francisco when mm -hmm. I'm not in all this glamour. I love your hair today. It's oh very, God, it's you, very business so lady chic. It's, I'm, it's, I'm very, a fan. it's very inspired by you. I've, I, uh, I've sang at the San Francisco Opera stage. I've sang um, at, the, at the Herp several times. Mm -hmm. I've sang uh, the Marines Memorial, all, all kinds of places. But that is that is a, a fabulous and, and wonderful stage to be on. How do you prepare for? Um, so today is your is your show. It's, yes, it's my show. How do how do you prepare your voice? Because in the end of the day, well, you live your life as a man. This is and true. You do not go around talking. Don't tell. La, 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 talking uh, to people in a high voice. No, no. I, 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 what do I do? I, I I try not to go out too late the night mm -hmm. before. Um, I warm up a little, I, I throw my face on, I, I steam out some clothes, which is a never-ending process. <laughs> Silk. <laughs> Trouble. Uh, I, and then um, sometimes I gargle some olive oil, which I don't know why I gargle olive oil. I just decided one day that that mm -hmm. would be helpful to me in some way. And so I do it. Uh, Picking up is always a good way to go. For yes, anything you're, you're lubricating doing. the vocal cords. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you got to keep them uh, loose and ready. For whatever might come through, or on. Talking about loose and ready for whatever might come through. Um, are you dating anybody? I am. I, I I've been with my gentleman Carla for six years. Oh my God! Congratulations. I, I know it's crazy. Um, what do you think about uh, relationships? Do you think closed or open? Um, I mean, I think there's something for everyone, and it depends on the person you're in a relationship with. Amen. Knock on wood three times. I believe in uh, a clothes not. relationship where you wear clothing. Sometimes. I do enjoy clothing, <laughs> yeah. um, and he does have a bigger closet than I do. <laughs> That is very important. Do you want to do you want to do a little game, a little Q and A? Sure. Is it hard? Oh yes. Okay, I'm ready. What is the um, quadruple? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be a really like a tricky <laughs> question for her. Um, I'll I'll say a word and whatever comes in. Okay, mind. that's right. Um, family. Uh, home. Friendship. Uh, essential. Husband. Um. Lifetime. Life. Uh, life. Uh, it's a banquet. And um, if you were to leave this earth tomorrow, what would you like your um, legacy to be? As uh, not only um, Katya, but as your um, male self. Um, I, well, I would just like people to be kind to one another, be positive with one another, uh, be as truthful as they can in life. Um, and take good care of my shit, because there's a lot of it. And I have a little journal when I'm drunk, I write who gets what. Am it I changes all the time. You might be, at least <laughs> in one version of it. Everyone Can wants I... something from me. So, um, how would you 
celebrate 2019? Oh, 2019. A year of adventure. I want to do some writing. Right? Uh, I've got to write the memoirs of Katya's 80s. I've written her six, the 60s, the mm -hmm. 70s, the 90s. So I've got to write a show about the 80s. Why just the 80s? I just <laughs> haven't gotten around to it yet. <laughs> no, I will. It's a marvelous decade. She spent it between New York and Los Angeles dating an executive at Capitol Records, because I feel like that would be a good thing for her to do. It's amazing. <laughs> I have this skill. All I have to do is say something, think it, and all of a sudden it becomes true to Amen. everyone who's listening. And um, since we're talking about cameras and being on TV and all that stuff, and, and it's so exciting, you are on Netflix. I guess so. I, I, years ago, I did a movie called Baby Jane, directed by Billy Cliff. Amazing. St based on whatever happened to Baby Jane, uh, which was the, the famous Betty Davis and Joan Crawford film. Correct. And um, I, I played Joan Crawford. Oh, Joan. I mean, I, I love yeah. old Hollywood. That's a lot of who I am, is, is Ross Russell and Betty Davis and... and uh, and Garbo, you know, all these, these great women. But uh, we did this film, we shot it in like two weeks with our Baby Jane and it's become sort of a bizarre cult movie in black and white <laughs> with me spinning around in a wheelchair a lot um, and getting pushed down the stairs. Uh, but it is just, it's like we are talking before, you are talented. You're a good actress. I should come here every day. You, <laughs> you, you're like, and, and, and I'm not trying, I'm not saying this, but Literally three weeks ago, Mercedes and I just watched it. We're going through Netflix. I'm like, what are we going to watch? And then literally we put in and it's like, let's watch it. And literally we had a little drink and then watching your movie and it's just like so enjoyable. It's its own kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and it can only happen here. Yes. San Francisco. Should we get Kyle in to join us and yes. to like let's, toast let's, into let's 2019? Let's the new year. Chin chin. Chin chin. Happy 2019, everyone. Wow. We love you and... Be safe. Saúde, um beijo muito grande, um abraço, tchau. Speak English. Ah. <laughs>